Hi, I'm Amy Mozzie, and I am with Supreme Boats. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about the Supreme S220 for 2024 model year. As we start at the front of the S220, you start to notice that this boat has amazingly aggressive yet refined lines to it. It has a modified V-shaped bow, which means it's kind of shaped like traditional V bow, but with a little more width to it. It's got a lot more room, and you'll notice that when you're sitting in the bow, but also when you're looking at the boat head on. It's got a unique style to it that is refined yet aggressive. As we move further back down the hull of the S220, we start to understand just how tall this boat is. And we call it freeboard a lot, but what it means is the height from the top of the deck to either the water level, the trailer, or the ground, but there is a lot of space here. And what it does is it gives you depth on the interior, so you sit down into this boat, but it also gives you a big blank canvas for beauty. This gel coat color right here is called Laid Back Lavender Metal Flake, and it is beautiful, but we have 31 gel coat colors available on this particular boat for Supreme. We also have two different gel coat schemes, two different designs. This is the core scheme, and you could make this 31 different colors, but I tend to like Laid Back Lavender. It works for me. Other than depth, being about the depth of seating and the amount of gel coat we can get on the side of the boat, it also helps with ballast capacity. The S220 has as much as 4,400 pounds of ballast available in it from the factory, and that's in six different locations, pumped six different individual locations. So you can control the level of ballast you have in each of those areas at the dash. So the depth of this boat is well beyond just the look the feel on the inside. It also helps you get more ballast and it helps you for keeping that water out of the boat when you create those waves and wakes behind it. To go along with the refined yet aggressive look of the S220, we've got to brand it Supreme, but we make that customizable. So you can choose between a black decal here, a white decal and a chrome version. Any way you want it, we can build it. Also, you've got the model designator on this fresh air vent in the back. And basically this just allows hot air from the engine compartment to have a place to go. It's not exhaust, it's not anything other than that, but it allows the engine to breathe a little better. And it looks pretty cool with that S220 designator. So with 4,400 pounds of available ballast in the S220, that displacement creates almost this mass of water behind the boat. But what do you need at that point to make a wave? You need quick surf. And what quick surf is, is a tab, almost a trim tab on either corner of the back of the boat. What it does is it goes down opposite the surf side. What that creates is lift opposite the surf side. So then the surf corner actually displaces more water and creates a curl. So for instance, if I am a regular rider, I would be on the opposite side of the boat. I would be surfing on that side of the boat. So this quick surf tab would be down, creating lift, digging my surf side corner because I'm regular. Now, most others in my family are goofy. Yeah, I know I seem goofy, but they're really the ones that are goofy. And so the paddle on the driver side or the passenger side would be the one to go down. And then we would have a plate up on the surf side. So that's basically the way it works. And then if we wanted to switch, if I was talented enough to make a transition or a transfer, we could switch and we could do that in about two seconds. I'm not, but it is possible. So what we're gonna talk about next is an optional component for Supreme. This is called the Silent Stinger Wake Plate. What it is, is several different things. At least it accomplishes several different goals for us. It acts as a trim tab, number one. And what that does is it changes the running attitude of the boat. So when the plate goes down, it actually makes the back of the boat lift up, the nose of the boat go down and run more level in the water. Let's say you're out on a really rough day and you wanna get the most aggressive part of your bow, your V right under your bow, cutting through the chop. You'll wanna put this plate down. Let's say you're surfing and you wanna displace as much water, or get the back of the boat down as deep in the water as you can, you'll wanna bring that plate up which will allow for the nose to come up and the back of the boat to come down and displace more water for wakeboarding or wake surfing. 
The other thing that this plate does, which is very unique and patented by Supreme, is it dampens the engine noise. So it takes the noise level down, and not just on the outside of the boat, on the inside as well. So much so that when you're sitting in the observer seat, the noise level is about that of a kitchen dishwasher. It's very, very low. So you can have a normal conversation at a normal noise level, and you're not irritated by the end of the day because you've been yelling at each other all day in the boat. The way it accomplishes this noise reduction is with several things. There's water forced into the bottom of the plate as the boat moves forward. That water tumbles with the engine exhaust through a series of baffles that are built into the plate. Then that water is dispelled out these back ports. What it does is it dampens the engine noise or the exhaust noise in that process. It also eliminates what can sometimes be a line through your wave where the exhaust um, comes through and kind of disrupts the wave enough that it could catch your board. This particular system dissipates that line completely. So you don't have to worry about your wave being affected by the exhaust either. This is a really, really cool plate and it does so many different things, but you've really got to be in the boat to appreciate just how many advantages it provides you. As I step up onto the back of the Supreme S220, you start to get an idea just how tall this boat really is. Now, I'm not in the water, but if I was, I would have been able to get up onto the swim step pretty easily because it has a gentle rocker built into it, kind of a roll off towards the back of the boat, which makes it easy for me to get up on the swim step. But it also comes with an available ladder. So I could have a ladder to get up on the back of the boat if I chose that option. And Honestly, anything that makes me look graceful getting on the back of a boat, I'm all for. So, hey, take that for what it's worth. But it was easy for me to get on the back of this boat, and it will be for you. Not only does the swim step look great as if it goes along with the boat, you can color it and it will match your main color on your boat. In this case, laid back lavender, which gives the boat, in my opinion, another accent. I've also got my gator step on the back of the swim step, which will match whatever I've chosen for the interior of the boat. So there's a lot of style built into the back of this boat. Also a lot of comfort and storage for that matter. Like I can put my shoes away without even having to get into the boat with those shoes anywhere near my upholstery. They're away, I can grab them before I go to the dock. And if I need a comfy place to sit, this acts as that too. So you've got a lot of comfort, a lot of style, a lot of functionality on the back of the S220. And just think, we haven't even gotten into the boat yet. So as I step down into this S220, you start to really understand how big this boat is. It's a 22 foot boat. It accommodates 14 people, but it feels bigger. And I think part of that is to do with the depth of the boat, like we talked about before, but also the seating layout. It's got this really communal lounge seating that allows for a lot of space, a lot of room for people, a lot of room for stuff. There's storage underneath every seat, but it, it seems big. So the interior of the lounge looks great. It feels great, but why? I'll tell you why, because of what it's made of really. And this is a 17 mil top coned vinyl. What that means to you is protection. So we can throw out a lot of statistics and a lot of technical information, but in the end, this particular vinyl made by Spradling is tough, it's resilient as well as beautiful. But what that means is I can get something on it and wipe it right off. It resists UV rays, it resists um, acid rain, it even says, but it is very, very robust vinyl. It's made for the rigors of the marine environment. So it's not like years and years ago where the vinyl would deteriorate a few years after you buy the boat. It's nothing like that. This vinyl is here to last and it's held together with Gore Tenera thread. And Gore Tenera thread is as strong as the vinyl, maybe even more. Um, they've put both of these materials to tests that would defy logic in a lot of cases, but they've passed with flying colors. It is a very resilient interior. And we know that because of the amount of warranty claims we have on these seats, on these lean backs, on the vinyl, on the stitching. It's almost next to nothing. And that is because it lasts and lasts 
and lasts. But the other cool thing about this vinyl is the texture. And you'll find this in a Supreme and in no other boat. We call this OTB texture. And you can kind of see it, it's OTB stands for outside the box. Uh, not only does the texture kind of look like an open box, it, we were thinking outside the box when we came up with this design. It is exclusive to us, but it's not just pretty to look at, not just unique in its own right. It is very, very friendly to your fingers, your toes, your feet, your, your legs, it doesn't get hot. At least it dissipates heat better, even in darker colors. So you can normally see a 10 to 15 degree swing in temperature, even on a dark color like black. What it does is it has more surface area. The texture allows the heat to dissipate faster. So even though you have a darker color, it's still gonna get hot. It won't get as hot as a flat vinyl in that same color. So it's made to be practical, it's made to be functional, beautiful, and it's made to last. So not only do we have room for a lot of people on the interior, we have room for a lot of people's drinks. <laughs> as you can see in the side panel, we've got four cup holders on either side, as well as a, a couple on the passenger side and a couple on the driver's side. So there's plenty of places to put your drink. But more importantly, you've also got a place for your sound. So typically in a Supreme S220, you have a standard wet sound stereo system. And it's got a six and a half inch speaker, actually six of them on the interior of this particular model. But this has been upgraded to the Champ stereo system. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. But what that gives you is an eight inch speaker on the interior, sounds a little bit better, and you've got the ability from either side of the lounge to have the sound from those speakers spill in and make sure that everybody can hear the tunes well. You've also got the model designator there in the side panel, which tells you, in case you've forgotten, you're in an S220. Because this interior of the S220 can accommodate as many as 14 people, you want to make sure that the interior is versatile enough to allow people to sit where they're most comfortable. And that's where this slide seat comes in. This is optional in a Supreme S220, but it allows to be slid into three different positions. And what that gives you is you can move passenger weight to different positions of the boat, which can help for um, displacing the boat for wakeboarding, wake surfing, making sure you have a symmetrical wake side to side when you're wakeboarding that type of thing, or you can just want to be closer to the helm of the boat. For instance, if I slide this seat all the way forward, I can pop in those optional lean backs that I can get with it, and I can sit with the driver and the observer right kind of huddled behind the windshield. If it happens to be a cold day, we could maybe take advantage of the optional heater. It allows you to configure the interior of this boat the way it works best for whomever you might be bringing along on that lake ride today. So we've gone through the spaciousness of this interior, the resiliency of this interior. Now let's talk about some customizable elements. You can customize the flooring, the non-skid on this interior. And I don't just mean a little bit. You can really make these colors anything you want within reason. There's 15 different color choices on each layer of Gator Step. So I can choose between 15 different colors on the bottom layer, 15 colors on the top layer. You've got all kinds of customization available to you here. But the cool thing is, is you can match that to your gel coat. You can match it to your upholstery. You can choose to do whatever you'd like. You've also got different schemes you can choose between. There's a salute to service schemes with flags all through the interior. There is a Supreme Cut, which is the one uh, that we're in today. And this is a two layer version of the Supreme Cut scheme. But you've got a lot of choices on this Supreme boat. Even though some might classify this boat as value class, you've got a lot of value available in the way that you pick the colors for this Supreme. So the standard tower available on the Supreme S220 is a shine tower. This happens to have the optional F-series tower on it by Roswell. This particular tower, of course, looks wonderful. It's able to be customized so that it matches the boat perfectly. You can tell by the laid back lavender tower shields. But beyond that, it's very strong. And what that gives you is quiet <laughs> when you're going down the lake on a rough day or, or even when you're towing this behind your vehicle and it's not swaying from side to side while the noise may not bother you from inside a tow vehicle the lack of 
strength and construction might, but this doesn't have that. This tower is extremely strong and it's easy to fold down. That's one of my prerequisites. But one of the reasons it's very strong is because of the mechanism that's built into the foot on either side of the tower. What this allows you is a cam latch design. This cam latch design is patented by Roswell. What it gives you is a locking mechanism. So you actually pull the hoop of the tower down on its base, lock it in so it's not going anywhere and you can't hear any kind of rattle out of it. But when you're ready to fold it, all you need to do is take the handy dandy Allen wrench tool that is in the glove box and unlock one side, unlock the other side. Now the tower won't fall, it won't move at all until you pull it down. So you don't have to be strong to fold this tower. In fact, even with all of the accessories installed on it, if it had racks on it, which are optional, and you can get those on this tower, if it had a stereo system, either this particular stereo system, which is the Champ system by Wet Sounds, or you can upgrade to the Hero system by Wet Sounds, which has four tower speakers. Even if all of that is mounted on this tower, even if you added a bimini, I can still lower this tower by myself and put it back up and it only takes about 30 seconds. So the strength that's built into this tower comes in strength of functionality as well as strength as, wow, this is really strong. So we talked about stereo options and this is a great one. This is the Champ system by Wet Sounds. What this is is two speakers mounted in the tower that are horns. They sound amazing. They get a lot of sound back to the rider, but you've also got eight inch Wet Sounds interior speakers, six of them on the interior of this boat, as well as a 12 inch subwoofer at the foot of the driver. What this gives you is sound exactly where you need it and you have zone control. So if I want everyone on the interior of the boat to be at a normal sound level, but I want my rider behind me to really hear the tunes that he's picked out for his session, we can do that. We also have a Wet Sounds head unit or stereo driving this entire system. Now the Wet Sounds head unit is standard. You get that even if you didn't get the upgraded Champ package or the upgraded Hero tower speaker package. But you get that Wet Sound system and it creates that clear sound so you can take advantage of all of this amazing speaker placement. You gotta check it out. So another unique element on the Supreme S220 is a windshield. We call it the sport shield. And what it allows for you to do is to have great coverage, but you've also got the ability to catch yourself at a dock when you're coming in. You've got the ability when you're going back around to pick up a fallen rider to not have to stand up to speak to them. With a lot of the other windshields that wrap all the way around, you'd have to get up to talk over the windshield so that your rider can hear you and you can hear them. That's not the case with this particular windshield. It also looks pretty cool. It's got A pillars that are shaped just for Supreme and it's exclusive to our brand. When I'm at the driver's seat, I can still be a part of the conversation in the lounge. This swivel seat allows me to, not when I'm driving, but when we're just hanging out, I can swivel around, I can talk to everybody, I can hang out, I can put my feet up if I want to. Uh, it allows for some more versatility like we talked about before with the slide seat. It also has a bolster in this driver's seat so I can get my perspective a little higher when I go back, which is one of the ways I like to drive the boat so that I feel like I can see everything in front of me. Now, one of the things that you'll notice with the Supreme as soon as you drive one is there's very little bow rise. What I mean by that is your bow doesn't very often come up into your field of view. I can always see the water in front of me. This boat gets on plane very, very quickly. And that makes me a lot more comfortable when I'm driving. But this bolster helps a little bit too. But if you don't need the bolster, you can always put it down and sit really low in the seat. But it's also very comfortable. The seat has a nice high back and I've got visibility over not only what's in front of me on the water, but also my screen. And this is a touch screen, by the way. We call this the octo screen. And what this allows me to do is control almost every function 
in the boat and graphically. So this home screen I have here shows me my speed, my set speed, which is zero off speed controls, GPS speed control. It also gives me all of the other data that I would like visibility over. My fuel, right now I don't have any, but it's a good thing I'm not on the water. I've also got my battery levels, my oil pressure, uh, things of this nature. I can see the water temperature. That information helps me a lot. I also have quick access to audio controls, which is always fun. So I can increase or decrease the sound coming out of the stereo. And you've got functionality built into the dash. I've got comfort in the seat. I've got versatility. I also have a charging station for my phone, which is definitely a plus for me. I can easily put my phone into the charger. It'll charge through the back wirelessly. And I can do it with one hand. So the way that this clip works is I basically put the bottom of my phone in, force it out, and then allow it to charge and sit there where I've got view of it all the time. This is a very functional driver's area and it's something that I take a lot of pride in when I'm driving that I have everything at a fingertip and I can see the water in front of me and I'm creating a safe ride for everybody in the boat. So we talked about the ergonomics of the driver's area and the fact that it's very easy to see and easy to drive, easy to control the normal things I need to when I'm driving. But what about when I'm towing a rider? When I'm towing a rider, I want to be able to not only see where I'm going very well, have control of the steering, the speed of the boat, but I also want to be able to adjust the wave or wake. And I want to be able to do that without taking my eyes off the water in front of me. So what a lot of these controls allow you to do is just that. So I can actually change my center wake plate. And in this case, on this boat, it is a silent stinger wake plate. I can change it by just hitting this bump switch. Up makes the plate go down into the water. Down makes the plate come back up. And that gives me really quick control over that center wake plate so I can change the running attitude of my boat. What that's also doing is changing the wetted surface of the boat itself, which allows the shape of the wake or wave to change as well. So I can make big changes to that water behind me just by bumping the switch and I never have to take my eyes off the water to do it. So while we have rider profiles built into this boat and every Supreme, and I can get to it by going to my profile menu, I can have a profile set up that has a certain ballast level, a certain speed, a certain wake plate position already ready to go. Uh, it comes from the factory with several profiles already done for you, and you've got another I think 16 or so to work with. So you can have one for everybody in the family or you can have several for each individual in the family depending on what you wanna do. But if you just want to go out and set up your own boat, set up your own ballast scenario, you can just by doing this. If I go to my ballast menu, I can choose any one of the six different areas of ballast in the boat. Now, it kinda looks as if we have seven different ballast areas, but actually the ballast in the bow here fills together. So that is one pump for the bow, one pump for the center walkthrough, one pump for either side of the lounge, one pump for either side of the engine. So you have six different ballast areas with six different Jabsco Ballast Puppy reversible pumps that allow you to fill and drain independent of one another. And I can do all of that from up here at the dash. But if I'm not super picky about where exactly all my weight is in the boat and I wanna just fill everything up, which is typically what I tend to do, I can fill all, I can drain all. I can do it individually just by touching on any one of the areas. I'm not gonna do it here because we're not in the water, but you'll understand that it's that easy to do and I can tailor my wave or wake just like that. So we hardly ever talk about the observer seat area of the boat and I don't know why. This seat is really comfortable. It's normally very oversized. This is where you'd access the bulk of the storage in the boat. There's a huge storage cavity be behind this lean back. You also have access to a couple cup holders. We've got non-skid up here. I've got a model designator cut into the gator step that's on the glove box and a glove box that can keep my valuables safe. I'll have access to my stereo controls in the glove box. You name it, this area is, is pretty cool. I like it here. 
But does anybody know why they call it an observer seat? You may not know this, especially if you don't live in a state that requires you to have an observer when you're pulling a rider. But back in the day, when it all used to be direct drive ski boats and there was only a seat for the driver, a seat for the observer, maybe a back seat if you're lucky, but that was it in the boat, the observer would sit here and observe the rider behind you. Typically at that point it would have been a skier. But you always have to have an observer in addition to a driver and a rider, uh, here in California anyway. But I find that interesting that a lot of people that I talk to at boat shows now don't realize that that's why this is called the OB or the observer seat is just for that reason. So the last seating area in the Supreme S220 that I wanna talk about today is the bow. But I also wanna talk about how you get there. You walk through. This is a walk through open bow. So we're gonna walk through to the bow. This one happens to have the bow filler cushion in. So it makes this whole area kind of like a little playpen. And you can spread out up here. I've got speakers, I've got cup holders, I've got grab handles in case my driver gets a little crazy. I've got something to hold on to. But this is a really comfortable spot to sit. But in a lot of cases, in a tow boat specifically, people don't want to sit in the bow when you're going down the lake, especially on a rough day or when you're drivers pulling a rider because it's a rough place to sit but not in a supreme s220 we have the easy v hull under this boat which means it has 20 degrees of dead rise at the transom it has 30 degrees under the bow and a very aggressive chop to it that bow that bow just slices through the chop and what you've got is a great smooth rough water ride and you can't say that about any other tow boat offering out there. It is actually very, very comfortable and smooth to sit in the bow of a Supreme S220. I hope you've enjoyed the walkthrough of the all new 2024 Supreme S220. This boat will make your life better. And if you don't believe me, go ahead and visit your local dealer and check this S220 out for yourself. <laughs>